Hey guys, Rana back here with new exciting video and in this video guys, I'm gonna show you how you can create a preschooling or kindergarten website for your business or you can create this type of website for your client. As always, this video will be step by step video tutorial guys. So make sure you watch the video till the end. Don't skip any single part of this video if you want to create a successful preschooling or kindergarten website and i'll leave a timestamp down below this video so that you can watch any part of this video by using that timestamp code so make sure you check out that timestamp code as well as you will find out other video tutorials down below of this video description so enough talking let's jump straight into the part one and let's create this beautiful website all right to create any website whether it's a preschooling website or blog or e-commerce website it doesn't matter there are two requirements major requirements that you should have before creating your wordpress website first is web hosting second is a domain name web hosting is a place where all your website file will be stored like your website images media every single stuff will be located on that server this is basically a PC or a computer that runs 24-7 and domain name is your website name like godaddy.com, google.com, youtube.com these are the domain names or you can say your website name to get these things first of all type this URL and press enter and you will land on Hostinger's website from this website you will get your web hosting and domain name this is my one of the best web hosting company out there even though there are many recommended web hosting companies out there I provide you a link of those web hosting companies in this video description but in this video we will use Hostinger's web hosting so once you land on this website you can scroll down you will see a best plan for your site you will see a single web hosting plan and you will see a premium web hosting plan and business web hosting if you're just getting started and you want to create only one website you can go with single web hosting but with this plan you won't get any domain name if you go with premium web hosting or business web hosting you will get a free domain name as well as SSL certificate I'm using business web hosting why because of this one feature daily backup sometime what happen is you get messed up with your website and you don't have a backup with this feature you can restore your website by time or date this is an awesome and useful feature guys it saved my ass many time however if you have a budget for premium web hosting and you're just getting started and buy it to buy this premium web hosting plan you have to click on add to cart here you have to select your billing cycle you can buy this web hosting for one month 12 month 24 months 48 months higher you go more you will get the discount but i recommend you to go at least 12 months below that you have to create your account you can type in your email or you can log in with your social media accounts like your google account or facebook below that you have to select your payment method if you live in india you can go with upi net banking credit card ptm google pay so on and so forth if you live outside India, you can use PayPal, CoinGate, these kind of payment getaway. First, I'm going to type my email and below you will see a coupon code. Have a coupon code. You just have to click on that just like it and enter your coupon code. You can enter my coupon code to get a best discount. Let me show you. Now you will get more discount if you type my coupon code. Once you do it, click on submit secure payment. Email address is already registered. Let me change my email here. Scroll down, click submit secure payment. All right, so here you have to complete this payment with your payment gateway. So I'm not gonna do it because I already have a business web hosting. Once you complete this payment, in the next page, it'll ask you to claim your domain name. And there you have to type your domain name, whatever you decided for your preschooling business. Once you do it, you will get your domain name as well. And your web hosting once you get both of them now let me show you what you have to do next so now let me quickly log in into my hostinger account i'm gonna click on login i'm gonna log in with my google account all right so you can see i've successfully logged in now i'm gonna click on my web hosting click on manage all right so now we are going to install a wordpress if you do not know what is wordpress well, WordPress is a script that allow you to create website without having a knowledge of complicated coding 
like JavaScript, HTML, HTML5, CSS, these kind of coding languages. You don't need to know about them. All right. Just install a WordPress application or you can say WordPress script. Okay. So let me show you how you're going to do it. So this is kind of cPanel or your dashboard of your hostinger. Now scroll down under the website section. You have to click on auto installer. Here you can see these are my domain names. I'm going to blur it out for security purposes. And below that you can see most popular one, which is WordPress. Let's go ahead, click on this button, select, and you will see this pop up. Type your website name here. I'm going to type something like preschool and type your administrator email, which is already there. Type your administrator username. This is your WordPress dashboard username. So here I'm going to type preschool and type your password here. And now expand this advanced option. And here you have to select your domain name. I'm going to select this one just for demonstration purposes. For your case, you have to select your original domain that you bought with your web hosting. Okay. Once you do it, you don't have to create a database and you don't have to set database password. Leave them as it is. Click on next. Now everything should be the same as mine. Rest of the things are good here. Let's go ahead and click on install. All right, you can see we have successfully installed WordPress. Now let's go ahead and click on edit website. And here just click on go back to dashboard. Now click once again, go back to dashboard. All right, guys. So this is our dashboard of WordPress. You can see here. Let me click on the dashboard button. So you can see welcome to WordPress. This is the version of WordPress. WordPress is a script like I mentioned earlier. Okay, let me dismiss this notice. If you visit your site right now, you can see this would be your WordPress website looks like by default. There is no content here. This is a plain WordPress dashboard, fresh installation. Okay, let's close this out. So now let's move with the next part of this video. In this part, we will look at the essential settings of WordPress. First thing first, let's go to plugins. Have you mouse over plugins? Click on installed plugins. So here you can see we have many types of plugins that we don't really want. First of all, check this box to select all of them. Go to this drop down menu, select deactivate and then click on apply. Once you do it, now check this box to select all of them, but uncheck this one all in one WP migration. This is a really useful plugin guys. And then go to this drop down button and then select delete and click apply and then click OK. It will delete all the unnecessary plugins from your WordPress dashboard. Now activate this plugin. All in one WP migration allow you to import or export backup of your WordPress website. Now hover your mouse over appearance, then click on themes. And here you have to delete these themes as well. Click on delete. You have to click on select the next one and click delete. Click OK. Now we have only one theme here. The so theme is basically is the design of your website. By default, we have 2022 theme. Theme is basically gives your website a different look or design. Right now we are using 2022 theme. Let's go to the dashboard. Now let's hover your mouse over settings. Click on general. So guys here you have to type your site title, which is already there. Below you have to type the tagline and below that you can check this box. Anyone can register membership. Anyone can register on your website. And the role should be subscriber, contributor, author, editor, administrator. Subscriber should be fine. Select your site language, English, United States, fine, which is fine. Time zone, select your time zone. I am from India. I'm going to select my time zone, this one, and your date format, and your week starts on Monday. Okay. Once you make any changes, don't forget to click on save changes. Next. Let's go to writings tab. Everything is good here. Default post category. We don't have any category yet. Once you create your post category like blog section, you have to come back to this writing tab and select your post category from here. Okay. Rest of the things are good here. Mail server. We haven't set up any mail server yet. If you set up your mail server, you have to come back to this page and set up your mail server. Anyways, let's go to the reading tab. In the reading tab, we have the homepage display your latest post section. 
or you can select a static page we haven't set up the home page yet if you're still wondering what i mean by that just keep watching this video you'll find out what i'm talking about finally skip the discussion media let's jump to permalinks here make sure you select the post name in the uh, common settings and then click on save changes privacy in the privacy make sure you select your privacy policy page which is already there if you don't have privacy policy page you can create a new one by clicking on create button or you can go to pages add new from there you can create your privacy policy page type your own preschooling privacy policy select that page and click on use this page as a privacy policy that's simple okay all right once you do it you are good here let's go back to the dashboard and we are done with the essential settings of wordpress so now let's move with the next part of this video this is very essential and important part you need to focus on here if you want your preschooling website without any problem or without any issue okay just stay focused just repeat after me what i'm doing okay so first of all have you mouse over themes click on themes here click on add new and click on upload theme just leave this page as it is now open a new tab and type this url and press enter and you will land on this website rishitheme.com so guys here you have to buy this theme however there is a free version of rishi theme but in this video we are going to use a pro version of a rishi theme because we are going to create a preschooling website which is a premium website so for that we have to buy a rishi theme in order to get it you have to click on pro tab but before that let's scroll down here you can see this is a lighting fast wordpress theme that increases your wordpress website load speed tremendously because loading time of website is one of the important part of seo seo means search engine optimization if your website seo is good your website will be show up on first page of google or any other search engines rishi theme has pre-built website design or template you can say if you are not a good designer or if you don't have any creativity you can start using these templates right away you can import multiple templates from multiple websites multiple pages you can import from different types of templates okay if you scroll and you can see you can customize each and everything from every single template and header footer builder you can build or design your header your footer each and everything everything is a customizable and many other things that you can do with this premium rishi theme so that's why i recommend you to go with rishi theme if you want to create a preschooling website for your business or if you want to create a preschooling website for your client anyways to get it let's go ahead and click on pro tab so here you can see we have two types of tab annual or lifetime if you go with lifetime price would be different if you go annual price is lesser than annual. if you go with personal it will cost you 49 dollars and this would be one site license and you will get 20 free starter sites and all other features okay professional allow you to create five websites agency plan allow you to create unlimited websites okay you can go with lifetime if you want it all depends on your requirement i recommend you to go with professional at least if you're just getting started if you don't have that much budget you can go with personal plan in order to get it click on buy now button and from here and from here you can select your payment method paypal scroll down type your email your first name your last name and click on pay now it will redirect you to paypal and here you have to log in and complete your payment once you complete your payment you will get your rishi theme via email download your rishi theme once you have a rishi theme let's close this out come back to this page where we left off so before you drag and drop your purchased rishi theme file you have to download a rishi theme from here click on download rishi theme type your email your first name last name click on download let's close this out go to your email and in your email you will see a receipt of your purchase this is a rishi theme go ahead download this theme once you download let's come back to this page and drag and drop your theme file 
So here you can see we have Rishi and Rishi Pro. Let's go ahead, drag and drop a Rishi, which is a theme file. Click on install now and click on activate. Once you do it, let's click on install Rishi companion. Click on this button. Okay. Once you install it, let's hover your mouse over plugins. Click on installed plugins. Here you can see we have two plugins. Now click on add new. Click on upload plugin. Now drag and drop your Rishi Pro. Now drag and drop your Rishi Pro plugin over here. This one, drag and drop. Click on install now. Now click on activate plugin. Now you have to activate your Rishi Pro plugin by typing a license key. Click over here. Here you have to type your license key. But before that, you have to activate your license key on your site. In order to do it, let's go to your Rishi theme my account page by clicking on account button and here you have to go to view license and in here you can see status as inactive. Now let's go ahead and click on manage site. So now here you have to add your website URL or your domain name. Let's come back to your website, copy the domain name, paste it over here and click on add site. Okay, your site is activated. This is your license. Copy your license. Now come back here. Now paste your license here. Click on activate license. There you go. You can see your Rishi Pro version is activated. Now click on save changes. All right, we are good to go. Let's go ahead. Click on starter sites. Scroll down. Click on install Rishi starter templates. All right, so you can see these are the pro version of Rishi theme. Now you can go to this drop down menu. Here you can select premium. And below you can see we have blog and magazine demo categories. We have other categories over here as well. Let's go with education. And here you can see we have this preschool and kindergarten. Now let's go ahead, click on import button. So here you can see we have option to import complete site or you can import only home page template. Okay. So right now I'm going to import complete site. Click on import site. Everything is good here for first time. Let's go ahead and click on import. Now it will take few minutes. It will install all the required plugins, content, widgets, and each and everything that you have seen on demo website. So I'm going to speed this video up and I'll come back once it's done. All right, guys. So you can see imported successfully. Now click on view site. All right, guys. So you can see this is our brand new website. Looks like after installing a demo template into our website, let's close this out. Let's go to the dashboard. Let's come back to your homepage of your website. All right, guys. So let's move with the next part of this video. In this part, I'm going to show you guys how you can customize your website from start to finish. In this part, I'll teach you how to change literally anything from this website so that you can create your own preschooling website for your business or you can create your own design for your client. If you look at the home page of this website, this page is designed with Elementor page builder and few other pages are designed with Elementor page builder. You don't need to be more technical in order to change the design or change the look of your website. Elementor page builder is a drag and drop editor that allow you to create a unique design with your own creativity. We start off by changing the header section. If you look at here, here we have the time, email and phone number. And right next to this, we have the social media handles here. And below that, you can see we have logo here. You can replace your own logo with this logo. And next we have the menu. We have home, about us, classes. This is a drop down menu. I'll show you how to create this type of drop down menu as well. Another drop down menu and we have the blog section here. And right here we have a book a visit button right here. You can add or remove this button if you want. And below that you can see we have some text here. You can type your own text here. This one as well. Again we have button here. Right here we have the image of the kids. If you scroll down we have another section right here. We have three different types of categories here. Uh, daycare, playgroup and kindergarten. Scroll down, you can see we have the about us section here. You can change literally anything. Let me show you how to do it. Let's go ahead, click on edit with Elementor. 
Okay, so here you can see we have this section right here. If you hover your mouse over any text or image, you will see this kind of editing section. If you see this pencil icon, that means this is editable. You click over there or you can replace this text with your own text, whatever you want. Best learning space for your kid. And below, again, you can change this bottom text as well. You can highlight the text. You can type your own text. Something like that. Okay. So this is how you change the text. Next, we have this button right here. Enroll your child. Here you can see we have added the button with the Elementor page builder. You can add more button if you want. If you want to delete this button, we have option to delete it. You simply right click, delete. That button will be delete. If you want to delete this section right here, right click anywhere, select delete and that section will be removed from your home page or any page that has been designed with Elementor page builder. Okay, so this is how simple it is. Next, we have this image. If you click over the image in the left side, you will see we have the editing section where you can change this image with your own image. This is the image size. So I'm not going to do it. This is how you change this image. Scroll down. We have another section here. If you click over here, you can see this is an editing section and you can edit these section as well. Here we have this small image of this cartoon and we have another cartoon. We have three different types of cartoon here. You can edit, you can remove, you can replace this cartoon with your own cartoon if you have one or you can change this text if you want. We have another button here. It's all about your creativity guys. If you want to keep this website as it is or you want to change something, you can do that as well. So, you know, these three sections are editable. First, we have added the layout. Inside the layout, we have three different types of section here. Okay. So, this is how you edit this area. And similarly, you can change anything just by clicking over that thing. Editing area will be appear from the left side. Change whatever you want. This is how you change anything from this home page. Okay. If you are creative one, you can create your own home page. All you have to do, just watch my other full tutorial of Elementor page builder. Watch that whole video and learn more about Elementor page builder, how to create your own design, how to create your own templates with Elementor page builder. But right now I'm showing you guys how to change literally any text, image, element. But right now I'm showing you guys how to change text, images or any element from your home page or you can even add more pages you can duplicate the section if you want right click duplicate the section will be duplicate like that that simple is it okay once you duplicate you can replace this image with your own image you can type different types of text something like that you got my point right so i'm gonna remove it below that we have this button right here if you do not have a button URL, you can type the button URL from here. Okay, this is the link. Right now, there is no link here. You can add your classes link right here. You can see, let me show you. If we visit our site, let's go to classes. This is the all classes. Okay, let's copy the URL. Come back to this page. This is the button view all classes come back to the left side in the editing section remove that hash and paste your url once you make any changes don't forget to click on update the button link will be updated okay that's simple in the same way you can change any button link if you select this one know more about us there is a no about link button here you can add that one as well if you go to maybe pages all pages let's see we have the about us page and uh, yeah, you can add this about us page URL, copy the URL, close that one and come back here, select your button, come back to the editing section, remove this link, paste that URL and click on update. That way you can edit your button URL. If you want to change the button text, you can do that as well. Here the text of that button, you can say something like about us, whatever you want, click on update, 
you can align the button if you want you can make it center right left whatever you want it'll take you a few minutes to learn this element or page builder it is super simple super easy even newborn baby can learn this thing okay because this is just a drag and drop editor so this is how you change literally anything from the home page if you want to know what is this section name just come to that section click on the pencil icon if you look at here this is a form this is a contact form one this is how they add this section on the home page that simple if you click over here you can see this is the layout and if you click over here you will find out the section name if you look at here this is a team carousel whatever you call it this is a basically slideshow of the team member of this preschooling or kindergarten website these are the team members again we have the button right here we don't have the link you can update that uh, all classes button by going to that editing section basically you can add anything on your website just by clicking on the plus button first you have to add the structure okay like that and click the plus icon drag and drop the heading whatever you feel like just type your heading again come to this section click on the plus icon you can add the button here come over here click on the plus icon you can add something different you can add google maps whatever you like you can add over here okay this is how you can create your own unique home page okay i'm gonna delete the whole section here because i don't really like it once you make any changes don't forget to click on update so this is how you edit your home page you can even change the color of your home page select any section go to style here you can change the color let's say let's go with green there you go okay that simple background overlay border shape divider topography just play around with elementor page builder you will find out how simple is it to create your own website from start to finish once you make any changes don't forget to click on update once you do it let's click on this burger icon click on exit to dashboard there you go let's close this one close this one as well now let's have your mouse over appearance and then click on rishi theme so guys here we have the site identity let's go to site identity here we are inside the elements tab we have the header section let's go to element tab we have the button in here we have the book of visit this button right here if you hover your mouse over here you can see we have this pencil icon click over that you will directly jump to that button we have the outline button you can see the button has been changed let's go with the default one we have the button size medium large small small would be fine we have label url minimum width let's change the book of visit minimum width whatever you feel like there you go what should happen when someone click on this button the link should be open in a new tab if so turn it on set link to no follow so now this link become a no follow link you don't need to confuse about no follow do follow this is all about seo anyways let's move on we have the set link attribute sponsored set link to download uh, button visibility and you don't need to change anything from here just do as i'm doing here okay once you make any changes click on publish next i'm going to show you how to change this logo hover your mouse over here you will see a pencil icon click over there and you will jump to the logo area where you can replace this logo with your own logo click on this pencil icon which says edit here go to upload files and now just drag and drop your logo that you have created for your business if you don't have a logo or you want to create a new one you can watch my other video you will find that video link down below this video by watching that video you will learn how to create a logo within five minutes or ten minutes for free and you don't need to know about any graphic knowledge just watch that video if you are a completely beginner to designing a logo you still can create a logo for your business go ahead watch that video anyways i already have a logo i'm gonna drag and drop my logo here i'm gonna click on select now let me change the transparent state logo now go to media library i'm gonna select the same logo select that one sticky state logo 
I'm going to change it as well. Let's increase the logo maximum width. Okay. Here in the pixel would be fine. Sticky state shrink. Site title. I'm going to change it to not tickets. Site title visibility. It's fine. Site tagline. Kindergarten and preschool. You can type whatever you want. Site tagline visibility. Click over here. Once you make any changes, don't forget to click on publish. That will save your changes. And here you can change your favicon. Click on that link. And here you can select your favicon icon. I'm going to select the same one. Select that. Skip cropping. Now you can see I've changed my favicon as well. Click on publish. Once you make any changes, let's go back. And here in the top row, if you click there, you can increase or decrease the size of your row. Great. You can make it full width or you can say default. In the design section, you can see we have the default state, which is color. Let's go here. Right now, it's white color. If you go with different color, you can see here. Sticky state. Top border. None. Let's select a color. Maybe none. Let's go with none. Let's change back to white. So guys, basically here you can uh, change the border. So guys, basically here you can change the background color, transparency and top border color, bottom border width and color or shadow or so on and so forth. Once you make any changes, guys, don't forget to click on publish. And again, you can change these text as well. If you click on the pencil icon here, you can see we have the uh, address. We have the working hour, we have the email, we have the phone number and let me show you how to change it. You can hide these thing if you want. You can unhide it by clicking on the eyeball icon. If you go to design, here you can see we have the font where the font color, uh, icon color. You can literally change anything. We have the margin. Actually, if you spend a little more time on this, you can come up with a new design right now i'm just showing you guys how to change every single element here you can see we have the social media handles you can change the social media handles here we have pinterest we have so on and so forth you can drag and drop and you can swipe up these social media handles here you can see drag and drop the instagram here you can see here you can add more if you want you can add pinterest you can add uh, different types of social media handles here tiktok spotify and again, you can have the icon size, icon spacing, icon color, icon shape type, label visibility. Once you make any changes, don't forget to click on publish. If you want to change these numbers, let me show you how to do it. Here you can see we have this expand button. Just click on that. Here you can see we have the title. We have the content. We have the link, which is optional. Next, we have the email. Okay. We have a title. We have the email. For example, you can contact me at info at runnersvfx.com. This is my email. Let's add spacing here. Bit more. Icon size. You can increase decrease the size of your icon. Rounding. Square. None. What, whatever you like, you can change it from here. And in the same way, you can change this number with your own number. Okay. This is a telephone and this is the contact number. Once you make your changes, don't forget to click on publish. And if you have your mouse below, you can see we have the main row. This is the row. Container width, full width, default, minimum height, sticky state, row shrink, row max width. You can literally change anything from here. Okay, we have the background, we have the background color, top border, we have the bottom border. We have the bottom border width height. It's all self-explanatory. So next we have the copyright section. Here you can see if you scroll down at the very bottom. You can see we have this copyright area here. You can type your own copyright section. This is right now it says copyright 2022 preschool powered by Rishi theme. You can type something like powered by runners BFX. Great. You can delete this bracket. Great job. Something like that. You can add your terms and condition page or privacy policy page. Let's click on this pencil icon here. You can see 
we have the footer menu we have the footer one footer two menu one we have different types of menu here that we can add here right now we have added only footer menu in the footer menu we have added two pages and that two pages are right there if you want to add more pages in your footer menu let me show you how to do it let's come back to the dashboard hover your mouse over appearance let's go to menu open link a new tab so this is your menu here you can see we have different types of pages in the left side we have the menu structure and these are the menus that we have on our website we have the footer menu we have footer one we have the footer two we have menu one which is primary and right now we have selected only footer menu which is already selected in the footer menu we have two pages if you want to add more pages let me show you how to do it let's select the contact us click on add to menu there you go click on save menu now come back here now refresh the page but before that let's click on publish now refresh it now keep looking at here at the very bottom let's scroll down at the very bottom right now you can see we have another page right here contact us so this is how you can add more pages on your footer area so this is whole section is editable guys and you can change these social media you can click on this pencil icon here you can delete or you can add more social media links here okay icon spacing exact same thing here in the service section you can see we have this widget right here we have this navigation menu which says title service in this menu we have added the footer one which is another menu that we have here if you select that one you can see we have this section same section here because this is the menu that we have added here another section we have here you can add different types of navigation menu let me show you how to do it you can select your menu this time let's go with footer 2 you can type something like another menu once you're happy with your changes don't forget to click on publish again we have this section right here click on edit you can change this logo with your own logo click on replace open media library select the logo where that one okay let me upload that logo drag and drop logo file select there you go next we have the text right here you can delete you can highlight the text you can type your own text for example this is my new website something like that you can add your own text once you're happy with your changes don't forget to click on publish and if you look at here we have the hide builder so this is basically a builder where you can create or build your top row main row bottom row bottom row is your copyright section middle row or main main row where you can add your widgets widget 2 widget 3 social media links top row is your header area if you click on this gear icon you can see we have the column per row how many columns you want columns layout what type of structure you want for your layout item spacing how many spacing you want just play around with it you will find out how easy it is to design a website with Rishi theme so I'm not gonna waste your time to show you the things that self-explanatory if you look at here we have different types of widgets social media links that you can add or replace with the divider you can add more elements or you can change the elements you can edit the elements right from here this is a global footer area okay let's go back here so this is the Rishi theme under the general option we have the layout if we go to the layout we have container in the containers area you can see we have the width you see how things are changes here layout type this is unboxed or boxed whatever you like you can select from here just play around with it it's not that complicated these are the buttons buttons roundness this is basically global setting okay if I set it to zero all the buttons will set to zero scroll down you can see here 
if I say 100 pixel all the button turns into 100 pixel round if I set it to 0 all the button will be in the square shape okay this is basically global setting come back to layout uh, below that you can see we have the colors this is global color pattern here you can select any color of your choice different types of color you can select from here adding color let's change this color as well base color you can see how things change here so this is how you can change the color header this is the header this is mobile view and this is a desktop view great let's come back here and next we have footer you can add copy section contents buttons you can add literally anything in the footer area let's come back here we have typography you can change your font style width height size anything from here seo we have the seo section here breadcrumb position separator horizontally alignment this is all related to seo let's come back here you don't need to worry about seo next we have the social networks you can type your own facebook handle url twitter instagram whatever you like you can add it from here post and pages blog page we have the blog page blog page layout what type of blog page layout you want you can select from here right now we have selected this one classic one featured image featured image ratio image size image visibility change literally anything from here for your blog page next we have the archive page author page search page single post page pages wordpress default site identity you can see you can select the icon i'm going to select this one you can crop it if you want let's say crop wait for it great you can see here this is a favcon once you make any changes don't forget to click on publish let's come back here so this section is a wordpress default area we have menu widgets home page settings home page settings right now you can see we have selected the static page again if you come back here have your mouse over settings and if you go to reading so you can see automatically a static page is selected when we had imported the demo template into this website in the same way you can change your home page from here right now by default is good let's come back here so this is how you can change literally anything from your website if you go to color settings again it will take you to the color section okay so guys just open any single setting and from there you can change your color settings typography settings layout settings and literally any settings you can change from there for example if i go to header section and if i come back here here i can change anything okay that simple all right guys so this is how you can customize your preschooling or kindergarten wordpress website if you go to starter site here you can browse different types of templates you can import different types of design into your same website without messing up with your website and there are a few more interesting things of rishi theme that i want to share with you guys you can import different types of single page template into your into your this type of website without messing up with your design okay you can go to extensions in here you can add more extensions if you want customizer reset cookies content so and so forth you can improve the performance of your website enable this extension in order to enable performance related settings let's say activate click on configuration you guys here if you go to image lazy load image make sure you turn it on it will increase your website load speed exclude lazy load image just leave it as it is uh, disable lazy load on featured image no i don't want to do it light box for images and galleries no disable responsive images basically everything is perfect here you don't have to change anything if you go to wordpress by default everything is good here if you feel like i want to activate rss feed you can uncheck this everything is good here you don't have to change anything okay 
let's come back here let's close this out so these are the free extensions okay if you go to pro extensions so here you can see we have the advanced blogging custom code snippet dark mood custom font and if you want to know what this extension about here's a little text here which explain what this extension all about okay useful plugins we have the glutenberg blocks for affiliate marketing mega elements so on and so forth some of them are activated some of them are activated and some of them are not okay so these are the things that i want to share with you guys that's why i love rishi theme that's why i love rishi theme all right guys that's the end of this video guys i hope you enjoy the video if you learned something from today's video don't forget to hit the like button and if you're new to this channel consider subscribing because i drop a new video every week on this channel that being said goodbye and i'll see you guys next time